Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have three stories for you this week. A Chinese drone ban update, Skydio buys a whole bunch of GoPro patents, and then lastly, a DJI Enterprise prototype that leaked after a crash. Let's get to it. And first up, in case you didn't know, the election day is over and now most of the races have been called. Now, why do I say this? Because we're headed into a period that is called a lame duck legislative session where Congress is expected to be working on a version of the National Defense Authorization Act, the NDAA for short. Now, as it stands, there is a Senate bill that does not include the countering CCP Drones Act language, while the version on the House of Representatives uh, does include that language. Now, this puts us in a good position as it is unlikely, although not impossible, that the language will be included in the final bill. Timing is currently unclear, and it is possible that legislative leaders uh, will use the upcoming holidays as a deadline in an attempt to force certain actions. Now, what can you do? You can engage with your representative and your senator uh, to continue educating them on how this bill is going to affect your business or your livelihood. Uh, visit DroneAdvocacyAlliance.com in order to find who your representative are and uh, how to contact them. Now, make sure that you go in there if you don't know who they are, because this may actually have changed with the uh, election on November 5th. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the American Security Drone Act, which is a different bill which was passed last year. Now, as a refresher, this bill bans the use or the procurement of UAS that are manufactured or assembled in China, with some exception, and this is for folks that are going to be using for government purposes. Now, the bill passed last year, and now an interim rule is in effect, and a common period is actually open for you to voice your opinion. Now is a fantastic time to leave a comment, share how this rule is going to impact your operation as a federal contractor or someone that uses federal grant money for your operation. Uh, that includes public safety. Now, the open comment period ends on January 13th of 2025, so you have a little bit of time, but don't uh, delay too much. You can click on the link below if you want to leave your comment. All right, next story, we have Skydio that has purchased 114 patents from GoPro. Now, GoPro is known for its action camera, as you know, but also had a short entry into the UAS industry with the GoPro Karma back in 2016. Now, due to numerous issues, including a bunch of flyaways, the Karma was largely a failure, and then GoPro did not pursue manufacturing any other drones. Now, it's unclear how many of these patents actually are related to the Karma or how many relates to the action cameras and other camera technology. And last up, we have images that have surfaced of what appears to be a crashed DJI Enterprise drone with three cameras and a laser rangefinder. Uh, the crashed drone appears to have an integrated RTK module, SDK ports on top, and a body that looks a whole lot like a Mavic. Now, our speculation is that this is likely a Mavic 4 Enterprise or similar aircraft. Now, this is interesting as it's the first of the leaks that we've seen so far for any new kinds of DJI Enterprise, but we also have heard some rumors of potentially a Mavic 4, so it's uh, kind of starting to add up a little bit. But we'll keep you updated if we hear more about this. And that's it. That's all you have uh, this week. We will see you later in the community for happy hour and then on Monday for the live Q&A.